Mr Pandaria Engineering is great. You'll be crafting mounts or pets, which always have and most likely always will be in demand. However, it does have the drawbacks of being slightly more expensive to level and need the help of an alchemist to produce living steel. Now let's go through how to get your Pandarian Engineering in a position to be making gold. Now, to level up, the approximate materials needed are 400 ghost iron bars. You're going to need loads of these for daily cooldowns, so don't worry about overbuying. You need 70 wind wall cloth and between 14 and 20 spirits of harmony. Before heading out, grab yourself one of these from the auction house as well, or craft yourself one if possible. Next, we are going to head out to the engineering trainer, which is located here in the Valley of the Four Winds. To level up, we're going to craft ghost iron bolts until we reach 25 skill. This will take a lot because it will be green towards the end, but we are going to use them all anyway. You can also craft 75 high explosive gunpowder, which will give you 150 high explosive gunpowder as you get two each time. These will likely not give you any skill points, but we need them for crafting anyway. Craft 35 Tinker's Kits, so this is going to make 70 Tinker's Kits as you get two each time. Craft 10 Thermal Anvils. Craft Mist Piercing Goggles until 75 Pandarian Engineering. Usually you need to make between 7 and 10 depending on how lucky you have been with your previous skill ups. So, before we go any further, there are two mounts you can potentially learn from this trainer when you are at 75 skill. These are really profitable on some servers and on other servers they are really not worth the hassle, so have a look on your server and see how much they are going for. At the time of writing, about 10 servers did not have these listed on the auction house and around another 20 plus servers had them listed for 150k plus. If your server falls within these categories, it may be worth the extra effort. As in order to train these, you need Goblin or Gnomish Engineering, which means you need to level up your vanilla engineering skill and complete a quest for the trainer. It's lots of extra effort, but potentially lots of extra reward. Okay, so let's unlock our Mr. Pandaria Engineering daily cooldown. I prefer to go to Veil of Eternal Blossoms. If your Veil of Eternal Blossoms is stuck on the BFA version and you have the invasion active as such, just speak to this person here and she can switch you over to the Mr. Pandaria version. I just kill mobs around this area until it drops and it usually does not take more than five minutes. Now, once a day, you can run this macro and turn 10 ghost iron bars into a jards. Now, we're going to use these jards to create one of two different pets or the sky golem mount along with living steel. Buying living steel from the auction house is expensive and will massively eat into your profits. To make the most amount of profit, you will also need one alchemist on your account who is a transmute master, which requires leveling up vanilla alchemy, as this allows them to get extra living steel, making it much cheaper for you. You also need to level up your Pandarian alchemy to get these transmutes. So from here, we basically have two options. Now the safest and easiest option is to just produce a sky golem every 30 days. This is safe, they sell well, especially at the start of new expansions. If the pets are selling for a decent profit on your server, then you could also sell those. If you have seen my pet arbitrage video, you may know what I'm about to suggest, as what I think is the more profitable option. At the time of writing, both pets are not listed on 10 to 15 servers on both US and EU side. To check this yourself, go to theundermindjournal.com, type rascalbot up here, click OK, and scroll down to this graph. All these gaps you can see in the graph here show auction houses where this pet is not currently listed. I would use the pet journal like I did in that video and transfer them to a server where you have no competition to sell them and sell them there. If some competition does pop up, then just move them to another server. Once it does sell, then you can buy cheap pets to move back to your main server and centralize the gold again, or keep moving them around like I did in the pet arbitrage video to make even more profit. Pandarian engineering does take a lot more investment and set up than most other legacy professions, but it does not rely on Legion time walking or selling transmog to make profits. So it has been a reliable source of income for goblins for years. Thank you for listening and good luck out there goblins.